Hello, it is a great pleasure for me to introduce Eleanor Alberga. She's the composer of Nightscape, the piece that we are including in today's program. Eleanor, welcome. Thank you. It's great to be here and it's wonderful that you're performing the piece. Oh, I, I you know, it has been a, a, a great adventure. I mean, it was fantastic to discover this, this piece when we were searching for a repertoire for smaller ensembles, as many institutions have uh, done this year. And then I found Nightscapes on your catalog, and it's a piece from 1993, if I recall correctly. And um, it, coincidentally, when I contacted you, you, you mentioned that you were in the process of revising the piece. Um, so lucky me, we got to see this a new version of, of the piece. So yes. first of all, I, uh, I'm i curious to, to know what Eleanor Alberger thinks about that composer from 1993. <laughs> well, it's a different person, of course. It's quite a long time ago. Um, but actually, on revisiting the piece, I, I thought I wanted to do a lot of, of changes, but in fact, I didn't change that much. In fact, I didn't revise it that much. It's of its time and, and you know, uh, um, I've, I've left it more or less as it was. Uh, but it, it, it expresses what I wanted to express at the time. Uh, it's about, the night time and my experiences of the night time in Jamaica and memories of being a child in Jamaica and experiencing the night sounds and and events that happened. Yeah, and of course, night is beautiful everywhere, but you know, Caribbean nights are quite charming. I mean, growing up in the Caribbean, I know exactly uh, the yes. sounds that, that we experienced there. And uh, as you mentioned on your notes, uh, you try to capture not only the, the, the visual beauty of uh, the nightscape, but the sounds of, of it. And we are um, talking about four movements. Yes. And they all depicted the, the first, well, the titles are self-explanatory, really. The first one is sundown. So it's quite gentle going into going into the night and the the twilight which is a very very colorful spectacular in that part of the world um and the next movement i won't be able to remember the title because there's so many names of different creatures uh, that can, can can i i can i uh read it the second yes, movement read title, it. the second movement title is cicadas three frogs crickets, party goers, geckos, dogs, burglars, and other nocturnal creatures. Yes. <laughs> so it's, it's quite a mix of everything that can go on in the Caribbean. And uh, usually the, there's a part of the second movement which I call the dog's chorus, because in, in Jamaica, inevitably there are some stray dogs around no matter what area you're in and they gather together and they make a lot of noise sometimes barking mm -hmm. and once one starts then it sets them all off so you get a full chorus of dogs barking <laughs> in the middle of the night. <laughs> Quite a picture and then the third movement the third movement into the arms of Morpheus. Uh, well, I've always been interested in Greek mythology and Morpheus, as you know, is the god of dreams and sleep. So basically it's about falling asleep, but at the same time, there's quite a lot going on. So uh, it's, it's, a, it's much slower and more, um, Yes, more more lyrical and and slow to start with, at least. Yes, and finally we end with the last movement that I understand is based on a childhood memory 
or on a song of your yes. childhood? There was a song that my mother used to sing me. Um, uh, it was su supposed to be a lullaby, but it was quite scary. <laughs> um, you know, saying that if you don't go to sleep, the fox will catch you. <laughs> <laughs> So it's called Bra Fox and the Dancing Ghosts, because as you know, in the West Indies, there's quite a lot of superstition and lots of ghost stories. So that was a mix of those things. Well, the, the piece in general, I, I don't have to say that, that is, you know, it's a tour de force, it's quite, quite challenging for the ensemble. Um, it is extremely rhythmical all the way through from you know the first to the last movement with great energy and a lot of you know, sometimes even jazzy um uh, gestures is uh, uh, you know dancing moments too so there's a lot of rhythmic activity in the piece yes well at the time i was very much interested in that in, in writing rhythms i've been working with a dance company and so uh, not surprising that I played for dance classes and I accompanied uh, dance concerts, dance shows. So it it was there around in my environment. So um, I'm sure that had an influence on the piece as well. And of course, that uh, amount of rhythm gets it becomes tricky, especially under the current conditions where we have the the ensemble so spread apart yes. on the stage so we are talking about you know some members of the ensemble in one corner and the others in in, in a complete opposite corner and getting getting these interlocking rhythms to work uh, becomes ex extremely challenging but, but yes. when everything falls you know in the right place it's quite exciting oh good i'm glad to hear that <laughs> and also, we, we didn't mention the, the instrumentation because it's, it's rather unusual. Um, can you tell us the origin of this instrumentation? I was asked to write the piece. It was commissioned uh, for the London Mozart players and they were playing the Mozart uh, 13 wind okay. at the same time. So it was the same instrumentation as that, which is why they're basset horns, uh, etc. So that, that's why that's why the instrumentation is as and, and it is great that we get the opportunity to use the, the basset horns that, you know, actually in our case we have here in, in the conservatory. So it's, it's uh, the, the Kleinet studio is actually looking forward to the opportunity of using them. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, yeah. So the students were very happy to that they they got the experience to to play those beautiful instruments. Um, it is it is a fantastic piece, and we are grateful for the opportunity to perform your music, Eleanor, and looking forward to learning more about your music and playing more of it. Oh, thank you so much, Raphael. It's it's a pleasure to meet you. And I hope the whole point is everyone should have fun with it. It's a fun piece. <laughs> we will. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.
Thank you. 